Live videos are quickly becoming a raw, authentic way to distribute your brand via social media sites. It's a fairly new concept that's been grasped by individual brands, but businesses are just starting to unlock the power it withholds. Facebook Live has the most power in this space due to its ease of use and outreach capabilities due to its massive amount of users. Here, I'm going to show you all nine tips to create live videos that are going to best suit your audience. When setting up your live video, be sure to write a great description of what it's about. This may seem obvious, but the description is often what pulls a potential viewer in. Make it fun, give it some personality, and remember, you can always edit the description later on. Before you even set up your live video, be sure to promote the fact that you're going to go live soon. Facebook has found that pages who tease their live video beforehand have a much greater viewership than those who do not. Don't be bushy, but be persuasive. Be sure to pick the right timing of your video. There are different times of the day when more people are online. Do a deep analysis of your demographic and determine what their schedule is like to help you figure out the best moment to launch your video. Also, think about what you're broadcasting and at what time of the day might best fit your viewers' lives. Make absolutely sure that your visual quality is at its best. There's nothing worse than a poor quality video and this will almost guarantee lost views. Pick a spot with great lighting and try to use the background aesthetics as effectively as possible. Your audio quality can also be a deal breaker if not approached in the right way. I've seen too many live video broadcasters shooting a video in a crowded area and it drains out everything. If you're in a crowded or noisy space, be sure to have some kind of microphone connected so that your viewers can pleasantly enjoy the video. To take your video to an even better quality, it may be smart to invest in a tripod or other camera equipment for stabilization. This could especially be beneficial if your camera is fixed in one position, like at a conference. If you're going to be moving a lot, a gimbal or some other camera stabilizer could be a great tool to use. Engage, engage, engage. To keep those viewers glued to your live video, you're going to want to interact with them. Pay attention to the comments and comment back. You can even make it personal by saying viewers' names and thanking them for tuning in. Above all, be authentic. Get viewers to be able to relate and identify with you. Remember that a live video is a reflection of your brand. It may just be the most authentic view of your brand. Make it count. Facebook Live videos are a great new tool that haven't been completely unlocked just yet by businesses. It takes time and an investment that might not seem worth it up front. But consistently putting out high quality live videos is going to show your brand's credibility and willingness to put it all out there. Go for it. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'd love to hear about any other tips you have for Facebook Live videos. If you learned something, be sure to subscribe to my page so that you can be notified of future videos. Take care.